Hello Internet, uh, today we're going to look at how we synchronize live with external devices. Um, so I'm going to try and sync um, my drum machine here with Live's clock. There's a couple of ways that you can do this. You can either use Live as the master or as the slave, meaning that it can send or receive um, BPM information. So that's what we're going to try and achieve today. We're going to use Live as the master today, so I'm going to send Live's BPM to my uh, external drum machine here. Um, now obviously to do this there's a little bit of physical setup um, that needs to happen. Um, I'm not doing this via Ableton Link, I'm doing this via actual physical MIDI connection. So um, this requires a couple of things. You need some sort of MIDI interface and I'm actually just using this MIDI keyboard here that has a MIDI out port on it, um, meaning that I can send um, I can send uh, MIDI information out of this thing. There's actually no MIDI in on this thing, it's a bit of a piece of garbage, so um, I'm limited to MIDI out. However, for this demo that's going to be fine. Um, so yeah, I've c the, the, the MIDI interface, the MIDI keyboard is connected via USB to my laptop. And then uh, I'm running a MIDI cable out of the MIDI out port on the keyboard to the MIDI in port here on my keyboard, on my uh, drum machine, uh, and that's the physical connections kind of dealt with. That's all we need to, to worry about. Uh, everything else happens inside of the software. So I'm going to now um, load up um, my preferences, command and comma to open my preferences, and the preferences we're looking at here are the link MIDI options. Uh, what we'll get here. Um, for every kind of device that you've got plugged in alive, usually via USB, um, USB MIDI kind of hybrid connection, uh, it will show them here. And for each device, you will get an input and an output. Live splits up the MIDI ports into these three different uh, functions. Each one does a different thing. And I'm thinking about covering this in another video, so I'm not going to talk about each one individually uh, but whenever we're trying to synchronize clock information we're looking at, at using this these sync options here now I know that I want to send the BPM information out of live and into an external device so I know I'm dealing with the output here so I'm going to turn on this sync output option output MIDI link the MIDI link is my controller I want to send information out of that into another device, so I'm turning the output sync on. Uh, that's it. That's really all I need to do. Now, what should happen here is when I press play on my uh, live set on the global transport here, it should fire up my drum machine. But obviously, in order to hear whether they're in sync, I'm going to need to hear my drum machine too. So, what I've done, I've set up an audio track here in live, um, just bringing in um, the audio signal. Let's record arm that uh, track. Um, so now we're going to hear the output of the drum machine and we're going to use the metronome to check whether it's in time with our live set. So uh, yeah, let's just do this without the metronome first. Um, I'm going to press play on the live set. Cool, and now we can see that it started, um, it started the transport on my drum machine. So it's working. Um, Another indicator that it's sending out information here, right in the top left hand corner we can see this little orange light. And that's indicating that there's MIDI out um, signals being sent to whatever device, just so it happens to be this one. So that's working, everything seems dandy. Um, I'm actually going to enable my metronome now to check whether it's in time with my live clock. Um, because things can be a little bit... Um, it can it can slip around or whatever. We might need to do a little bit of tweaking here. So I enable the metronome. Have a listen. It doesn't sound far off at all. It sounds pretty damn close, which is good. Um, okay. It could be tighter, and to be honest, it could be way looser as well. I've heard it way a lot worse than that. But what we're going to do is we're going to try and tighten that clock up just a little bit. I'm going to jump back into my MIDI preferences here. Um, and if you hit this little disclosure triangle, you'll see we get this MIDI clock sync delay. We can actually nudge the MIDI clock. Um, we can push and pull the MIDI clock um, with you know in time values of milliseconds to uh, realign the clock sources. 
Um, also remember that you may have an issue with audio latency at this point. Now I'm set to a super low buffer size, so I'm not really having that issue, at least I don't think it's that. Um, so I'm going to deal with this uh, sync delay inside of um, the MIDI preferences here. So I'm going to press play again, jump back in, make sure I've got my net metronome active, and I'm, act I'm just going to push and pull this a little bit. You can see the further I push it, the worse it is. The click's like way out now. But if I pull it a little bit, you can hear it getting closer. And actually around minus 20 milliseconds is pretty damn tight. Awesome. Let me just filter this out. Cool. Sounds pretty good. I'm going to bring something in from... Uh, I've, I've got a little operator patch running here, just a little pluck. Let's turn the metronome off now I feel like it's in. So obviously you're going to want to check this with some, um, some material inside your live set. So let's just fire this up. Sounds pretty good, sounds tight. The clock sources seem to be synced pretty well here. Um, so not a lot of setup to get this working and allows you to um, very quickly and easily synchronize your live sets, uh, your live projects with external devices if that's something that you're after. Okay, cool. Uh, obviously if you wanted to do this the other way around, I don't have the functionality because this piece of rubbish hasn't got um, a MIDI import on it, but let's say that we wanted to take the clock um, of the drum machine and send it into into live. We would simply swap these options here, so we would be bringing the MIDI in to live. Uh, and the other thing that we'd need to do at that point is we would need to hit external up here, and that would lock it to an external source. Maybe if I get a better MIDI interface, I'll do this again for kind of MIDI in and MIDI out. But at the minute, I don't have the functionality. So anyway, I hope that's helped. Cool, 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 and peace.